students today <coughs> we will study one important reaction in organic chemistry from the chapter aldehydes and ketones <coughs> which is known as aldol condensation in continuation with the last class <coughs> so aldol condensation is a reaction given by all aldehydes all aldehydes plus ketones which have an alpha hydrogen which have an alpha hydrogen when such an aldehyde and ketone which is having an alpha hydrogen is allowed to react with a diluted base base could have been say a sodium hydroxide it can be a sodium hydroxide it can be a potassium hydroxide it can be a barytha barium hydroxide etc so when an aldehyde or a ketone possessing an alpha hydrogen allowed to react with a diluted base say sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide or barytha give rise to a resinous resin like product a resin like product is formed resinous product is formed and this whole sequence of activity is known as aldol condensation please write it down so let me tell you again <coughs> all aldehydes and ketones all aldehydes and ketones <coughs> which possess an alpha hydrogen when allowed to react with a diluted base like sodium hydroxide or a potassium hydroxide or even a barytha or any other base diluted base they give rise to a resin like product and such kind of chemical activity such kind of chemical sequence of activity is known as aldol condensation i will give you one example right just so note it down quickly <coughs> so if we talk about an example let us take an example i have taken an aldehyde you must be knowing the name of this aldehyde this is named as what if you can tell me this is cs3 and cho so this is a simple <coughs> aldehyde this is ethanol ethanol this carbon is termed as a carbonyl carbon the carbon very adjacent neighboring to this is alpha carbon and the hydrogen attached to this alpha carbon is known as alpha hydrogen so ethanol is an aldehyde which is possessing an alpha hydrogen now when this aldehyde two moles of this aldehyde is allowed to react with a diluted base a diluted base say we take simplest of case of dilute NaOH then what we get is we get something like this just look it very carefully ch3 and ch and oh <coughs> ch2 and cho a product like this is obtained and which upon mild heating which upon heating is immediately converted into you have a proton here if you can see so what happens upon heating water molecule is lost upon from this and what we get is ch3 is keeping intact and ch is fine one hydrogen is lost one oh is lost and then there is a double bond and then ch and then ch2 so this is some kind of this is carbonyl carbon this is alpha this is beta this is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde this sequence of reactivity is known as convert is known as aldol condensation in which an ethanol is converted into alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde quickly note it down <coughs> we have taken two moles of ethanol allowed to react with diluted NaOH we get a product like this we get a product like this if you, if you can watch this product now we move to the second part of this lecture which is the reaction mechanism of aldol condensation
the reaction. Now we will discuss the mechanism part of this reaction. The mechanism of aldol condensation. So check it very clearly and quickly. Mechanism is comprised of four steps. Step one is in step one. What we do is take aldehyde. We have taken ethanol in the example, so we take ethanol here also. <coughs> this ethanol is being approached by the base hydroxyl ion approaches this ethanol molecule, attacks the alpha hydrogen, thereby developing a carbon ion like this. So if you can watch it very carefully, CH2 minus C negative, CHO is formed and this is a highly stable carbon ion because of this kind of inoblate ion formation or resonance activity. I have said because of resonance, this carbon ion is extremely highly stable. So we get a carbon ion in the step one. Show it very clearly in your notebook. Is that fine? What we have done is we have taken a base, this is extracted alpha hydrogen. The bonded pair is shifted towards this carbon atom, thereby giving rise to carbon ion. And why this carbon ion is formed? Because this is extremely resonance stabilized. This is step number one. So now we will move to step number two. What happens in step two? This carbon ion CH2 minus CHO is going to behave as a full-fledged nucleophile. If I can label this as one and two carbon respectively, so this will attack on another molecule of ethanol another molecule of ethanol is being attacked by this carbon ion the carbonyl carbon if you can see is partially positively charged so this negatively charged carbon behaving as a nucleophile attacks on this positively charged carbon the pi bond shifts here and what is obtained if you can guess the compound obtained is uh, if you can label it here as 3 and 4 respectively so what is happening is 4 is keeping intact there are 3 hydrogens I write it very clearly and then carbon number 3 is shown here 3 the oxygen atom is carrying a negative charge now there is a hydrogen and 3 is kind of attached with carbon number 2 carbon 2 has 2 hydrogens so it is keeping intact to hydrogen and then it is, this is attached to carbon number 1 which is carrying an RDID functionality. Show it quickly. So the nucleophilic carbon ion is attacking on carbonyl carbon giving rise to a carbon-carbon bond formation like this. So carbon 3 and carbon 2 are being attached here. Show it very clearly. <coughs> If you go into the kinetics of this reaction, this is the slowest step in the reaction. So this is referred as rate determining step. Mention this very clearly. This is the rate determining step of aldol condensation reaction. Unlike this, this is the rate determining step. Now step two is done. <coughs> we will do step three very quickly now. Step three is, step three is, we have carbon 4, we have carbon 3, what else? Carbon 3 is kind of attached with carbon number 2 and what else? Carbon 2 is attached to carbon number 1. Now tell me the bonds and all, CHO here and then there are two hydrogens here and then there is an O negative here and then there is a hydrogen and then there is a CH3 made the same molecule here again this will extract the proton from the solvent the O negative part will gain a proton from the solvent and thereby giving rise to a species like this which can easily name also so this is carbon 4 this is carbon 3 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 1 carbon 1 has an aldehyde functionality carbon 2 has two hydrogens can see very clearly carbon 3 has one OH and one hydrogen and carbon 4 has three hydrogens. <coughs> if we can see this compound, this compound could have been named as what? This can be named as 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 3 hydroxy. 
I would say there is a three hydroxy and butanyl. Butanyl. Now this three hydroxy butanyl, when this compound is subjected to mild heating, what happens in step four? This three hydroxy butanyl. Write it clear and fast. Three hydroxy butanyl. If you can label the carbon, this is carbon number one. This is carbon number two. This is carbon number three. This is carbon number four. There are three hydrogens. There is one hydrogen, one OH. So when this three hydroxy butanyl is subjected to mild heating, so they lose water molecule from here, and what we get is C, 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 and C. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. It's a CH3. There is to be an OH here. Now there is a double bond. There is a hydrogen. There is one more hydrogen, and then there is an anion. So this is a pure. E L or one L. So this is a complete sequence of mechanistic step in the reaction. Till this point, the reaction is referred as aldol reaction. And after the completion of step four, which is dehydration, the reaction becomes aldol condensation. I would repeat again till step number three. The reaction is referred as the reaction is referred as aldol reaction. And after the completion of step number four, this step number four, the reaction is termed as aldol condensation because the water molecule is lost here. You can show it. The water molecule is lost here. So this is the complete mechanism of aldol condensation. Quickly draw in a copy and revise this. Okay.